Hey guys, Silence here, here. Welcome back to another video of Uta Macross with me. By this time and date and hour, this video might probably become obsolete. But for formalities, let's just do this. Anyway guys, brand new event. Well, not so much brand new anymore. It's been past one day. <laughs> or two. Um, yeah, so I have been sick the last three days. Uh, down with very bad diarrhea. So I really didn't have a lot of energy to do a video uh, as I had to go to work as well during this time of uh, sickness. Anyways, so we're gonna talk about the stuff that's in this new event. Well, not really new. Um, the concept for this event is uh, reused um, and it's not really brand new. So most of us should probably be very familiarized with it already. But either way, I'm gonna go through it again just to uh, have you guys more clear, uh, clear on the methods of play plus well for the brand new um, players of Utah Macross as well and I'm also gonna talk about um, the idols or rather the divas um, affection levels so um, recently I have reached Ranka's max level affection so I'm gonna tap her and I'm gonna show you it says here um, level 40 max so once you have reached level 40 this is what you will obtain um, so for some of you guys, this is probably something you haven't been doing properly because you have no idea what to f uh, give the uh, diva and um, whenever they request something every day. So yeah, so here we go. I have Ranka's medal here, um, the golden one once you've reached level 40 affection. Um, you'll obtain this. If you're wondering what you will obtain, um, by raising a diva's affection, well, there are basically uh, a few things that you may obtain. Um, one of them being is that they will, you unlock special phrases that is um, voiced by the diva seiyu. Um, so you, whenever you touch the uh, the diva, uh, they might say that special phrase. Um, the other thing is you might get um, episode ops. If I recall, I did recall getting one. Uh, I think it was a medium episode op. Um, then of course there is the status ups that you will have in with that comes with your diva. So if you have your diva playing a particular live, uh, or or using them as uh, part of your team, you will play uh, play with them and they have certain stat boosts um, during those lives. So yeah, so. Diva affection is very important if you're the kind of person that's um, hesitant on changing your diva just because you know I am a, uh, like for myself I'm a diehard Ranka fan um, well sadly to say it is important if you wish to do well in events you need to have every single diva's affection level up just as the same as uh, divas uh, proficiency levels you need them to be up as well so for now I'm changing Ranka over to Reina because Reina is my second favorite um, diva in all the Macross generations um, and slowly I'll make way, my way around with the rest of the divas including Basara so yeah um, slowly I'll get everyone's affection level um, to, a, to a max standard but that's gonna take some time um, it took me quite a while, well, since the launch of affection levels until now, um, to get Ranka's level to um, the max. There were a few days where I purposely fed the wrong item just to do a video um, regarding what is the proper item to gift uh, the diva itself. So I will put a video up on that regarding uh, diva's affection later on. Uh, once I've gotten the details um, scripted properly uh, to mention it to you guys. So, okay, let's um, talk about the main event itself. The the missions and of course whatever that has been brand new released. So, uh, under the Chaos Exchange, you can see we have a brand new set of uh, Zodiac medals. This will affect the whole month of April. So, do take note if you guys want to exchange for the plates that are exclusive in this exchange we have Elto um, making his uh, show debut right now 
So yeah, uh, lots of alto plates, and of course, if you want um, his plates, you have to work hard during these events that do give out the Zodiac medals. And of course, under the UC currency, you can see that it has been refreshed since the start of the brand new event. I haven't bought, uh, I haven't bought anything yet because I just want to show you guys that it has been refreshed. Go ahead, purchase all of them. Uh, you don't want to miss out on. Um, having um, enough items to gift your diva to raise their affection level up so yeah so don't forget to do that I've got lots of cash so no worries on running out of money um, because well when if you play religiously every day you will definitely have tons of cash um, to purchase all of these items and still have leftovers As you can see I have like a ton of cash and I'm still not running out so apparently this one there's no max oh there is okay so there you go so i bought all of it um i know the sns unlock doesn't have a max capacity to be bought uh, but you don't really use it so uh, unless you have missed out on the past events then you have to use it to unlock the sns story uh, if you wish to view them so i don't really have anything unlocked uh, I rather locked to unlock uh, because I have been playing all my events religiously <laughs> okay going down to missions if you guys missed out on April Fools yesterday well this thing appeared the thing in the center which is your April Fools mission I have cleared it already basically you just have to play the April Fool event which is uh, I would say the in mail <laughs> in dance version of Rune Pika so yeah, um, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, let's just go into the event side and you will see this. So you can see, uh, well, Hayate's Valkyrie or rather Siegfried um, in the picture there. And if you're wondering what is going on, well, it's an April Fool prank by Dana, um, the company that produces Utah Macross. So it has a very unique um visual effect <laughs> so if you're the kind of player that doesn't have the visuals at the back and just notes falling down uh turn on the visuals and take a look at this uh event song and have a good laugh <laughs> so yeah it's pretty cute it's pretty awesome as well uh considering that uh you know all the dances of the divas are in 3d so you can imagine the sick freak dancing in 3d uh so yeah it's pretty awesome and if uh do turn on the valkyrie flight mode um battle mode um to see a special scene with uh, giant kyululu as well um i would say the uta macross uh mode or not uta macross uta hime mode um nothing really special because it's just flashback scenes from the tv anime um showing the triangle love between uh, hayate and uh with Hayate and Freya and Mirage so nothing really special in that sense but it's just the Valkyrie fight fight mode so yeah uh, do take a look at that so all right um back to missions as you can see we're gonna go through the missions once again it's pretty much the same as always so don't forget to clear them if possible so basically you have to play the event songs i'm not going to read out the full title because it's too darn long so basically you can see the numbers here we have uh, hit the score above uh, 115,000 um, points yeah so 85,000 70,000 then of course you have your individual songs of the day as well um, so we have Exia, uh, Ichido Dake no Koi Nara then of course your event songs blah 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 play how many times so hitting 130,000 ranking S and above 5 times uh, play a total of 10 event songs and clearing them then your daily song ticket this one please very very important please at least play even though you're storing up tickets for this event make sure you play at least once um, the event song a day to get this daily mission cleared if not you're going to miss out on 1200 medals so that's kind of wasteful uh if you have no idea what i'm talking about i'm going to explain to you guys now so how does this event work 
um, basically you're gonna play normal lives normal lives and in like songs from the normal lives and not under the event page which is this one uh, you're gonna play and uh, normal life as you can see under on top of the play button it says that it gives out the event tickets so you're gonna use this event tickets to play this event songs those songs can only be played with these event tickets all right so play any of the normal lives whichever generation you want is the same if you want to play the ones that are the daily songs yes they do provide um the tickets as well you can even play the the april fool song and you will get the tickets as well what difficulty you should play very hard to extreme why i say very hard to extreme because the consistency of the tickets being given out is pretty much stable if you play anything lower than very hard uh, there's a chance that whichever yellow note you obtain may not be a ticket it might revert to a plate material um, power up item so yeah um, so stick with very hard and extreme I would say very hard will be the best level to stick with because it's the least amount of energy used um, uh, while extreme is very difficult to handle if you can't handle extreme plus the amount of yellow notes uh, crisp, yellow crystal notes that will appear in extreme will be actually the same amount as you have appearing in very hard so there's really no point to play extreme because the amount of yellow notes that will appear really depends on your diva setup so i'm going to explain to you the diva setup right now how you can obtain more yellow notes from uh, a very hard song so let's say for example here okay we're gonna pick um, a friend that has the highest luck as you can see I have already set the tab to luck okay it's very important because luck factor is the one that increases the appearance of more yellow notes within a life so as you can see my friend here has 13 plus plus 13 luck so we're gonna choose this friend and of course you can see my whole diva is my whole diva setup is already set to luck so if you don't know how to do this choose whichever diva you wish to use okay for me during this time period i will recommend using the divas you wish to power up their proficiency levels um if you don't know what i'm talking about i will leave a link in the description description below um to another video that i have talked about uh diva proficiency levels you can go and watch that and come back to this one again if you wish to um further your knowledge on how to play this event okay so my diva is already set to whichever ones i wish to have my proficiency up and of course i'm gonna auto fill the plates uh to my divas so i'm gonna choose luck and i'm gonna say okay so okay they improve one plate here yeah so to to have the full best amount of points you can gain at the same time um the amount of luck on all the plates as you can see the best luck i have is 11 um it could have been 13 but the thing is in order for the plates to be 13 you have to be in top 100 uh for most of the events so as you can see i don't have a single plate that is like plus 13 luck because i have never gotten top 100 before even though i did try one <laughs> uh which i did have a video of that as well so yeah you can go and take a look at it if you want to know how the struggles of reaching top 100 Alright, so this is pretty much the setup outside the event. Now we're going to talk about the setup inside the event. So basically, we're going to go inside the event itself. Alright. Okay, as you can see here. Make sure you log in every day into the event page. So because they give you that three free uh, event tickets, which is very crucial if you wish to rank high. Okay, so for this event... Um, recently the last two events ago that had the same system um, they've implemented this um, event song high score ranking so in the past we only had this page of items that you can redeem and of course the uh, golden medal for the uh, ranking is actually given with the normal ranking here for the event so only the top 100 will obtain the golden medal of course it's the most important part is actually the six star plates that is given so of course you wish to rank as high as um well top 
1000 to obtain at least one of the um, 6 star plates so you can have it evolve and of course the other ranking is basically this one with here we go, I'm going to rotate it. This is the event score, high score ranking. Basically, what you will get is um, the, so the song's image in a medal, as a medal. So basically, well, the rainbow one is of course the highest, which is the f um, first place. Then you got ten, to, uh, second to 10th place and so on and so forth. So honestly, what does the medal do? Well, it's just a decoration item. So. Uh, it's not of importance unless you are the kind of person who who needs to win such um what do you call it um wondrous items for yourself to flaunt around so yeah uh that's pretty much all it is it's just decorative piece of item um for your profile so yeah not really important okay so what difficulty is best to play during an event song um, basically any song that you can full combo with um, that includes if you can do it on extreme um, why is full comboing important here well it, the high score doesn't really do much uh, other than multiply your total score at the end so full comboing is always best because first of all you need to obtain the green crystal notes that appear in the life if you have no idea what i'm talking about let's take a look um okay so let me explain what you're seeing here first first of all if you enter into the event you're gonna play the song you i've chosen very hard then they're gonna ask you how many tickets you wish to use you can use one you can use two you can use four which basically it will multiply your end score by four times or two times or one time depending on how many tickets you have used so of course if you don't have a lot of time to play using the most amount of tickets possible within a life is the best ideal way but of course there is a risk if you fail the song or you somehow aren't able to feel very uh, synchronized with the music that day uh, and you flop, you missed a lot of notes well, it's gonna hurt because you're gonna waste 4 tickets at one go basically so okay, let's just, just for example I'm gonna go in now, for the normal event, luck isn't necessary in fact, you only need total so we're gonna choose a friend that has the highest score in total and from here i have already set up a team um so i'm gonna withdraw my team here we go okay so basically you need to boost this um percentage bonus percentage for your event so you just need to have your divas equip the specific plates that they mentioned here only one un uh, one of each category so I just need to equip one either one of these two that's here uh, I don't have the plate from the gacha so that's why that's not mentioned there one of the four here so I have already have one equipped which is basically this one here alright so I can equip another one but I didn't because it will lower my total score which is not necessary because um, if it reduces the total score that extra 5% is really meaning meaningless in the end okay the other thing you need to take note that is very important that I did not mention before in any of my past videos because I only recently um, clarified the information and that is basically in order to have extra green notes up here you need to have a plate that helps boost this this special skill which is the item uh, release skill now the only plate so far that i have it is actually this one which is kaname's exia plate so let's go to the skill and basically here it is it's lit, lit up and it says item in japanese so it gives you that small extra chance that you might get 47 green notes under very hard and um 68 green notes in extreme so that is if you full combo the song and never miss a single green note uh you can don't, uh, you don't really need to full combo but it's best to because uh, full combos total score will help boost the amount of uh, points you earn at the end of the life um, if you missed a few notes it's fine as long as you hit all the green notes do take note you need to hit 
all the green notes even though you did not full combo the song you will still get a pretty decent amount of score so that's it that's really it that's all you really need to know about this ticketing event uh it is probably one of the most easiest to rank um or rather easiest to handle event uh uh, to be honest, it is really one of the easiest to handle because uh, you can play this at your own pace and you can tell yourself when you need to rush through this event uh, especially if you're planning to unlock the Evolve version of the 6-star plate. Yeah, so the other two events that usually appear or rather the event styles, uh, those are a bit more harsh because those you really need the real amount of time to spam and to rank high well as for this one all you have to do is just constantly play at your own pace uh, make sure that you are not afraid to re regenerate your energy and yeah just play continuously like a zombie <laughs> and rank high so yes guys so this is pretty much all the information I can give you I know it's a very long video but hopefully it's always helpful to you guys as uh, as always to double check yourself on what you need to know and whatever I have learned um, from playing this game throughout the past year. Well, it's it's almost one year since Uta Macross has been released. Can you imagine that guys? It's almost one year. Wow. <laughs> uh, anyway guys, it, I'm tired. It's almost, let me look at the clock. Uh, I have a feeling it's almost 1 a.m. Oh wow, it's it's 12 30. Okay, uh, yeah, and I need to sleep and rest because I'm still sick. Uh, so yes, guys, thank you guys so much for watching and listening to me talk non stop. I know it's a draggy long video, but it's I would say it's pretty um, packed full of useful information. And well, I'll see you guys soon in the next video. and you know, I'm not gonna say much more than that because you guys already know what to do. I hope you do. Uh, if you like this video. <laughs> Until then, bye!